It's the first train full of passengers to travel on light rail into Irving. And that means DART is ready to celebrate. <laughs> this parade marks Super Saturday, one of several grand opening events for the Orange Line. Let's go, Orange! This is my first ride here with the Orange Line here in New Orleans. It's really awesome. Leslie Landon. Hi has twice the reason to celebrate. It was my birthday, so I had all my friends come down and we had an orange party. This parade was the climax, but along the way, riders could get trip planning help, along with treats at the Bachman station. Now I can see my grandchildren. <laughs> On our way to the next stop, we ride above highway traffic to the University of Dallas to check out the art. The campus expects to see the benefits of this connection. This is certainly going to help us. Uh, it's going to great, create better visibility, uh, accessibility for our students. Now arriving, Montalina's Urban Center. Here, there was a long line for orange snow cones as people work to beat the heat. But there is plenty more to see. Some of the street fair attractions and parade entries are meant to get people thinking about some of the places they can reach on light rail, including the Dallas Zoo and others. They leave us right there in front of the um, American Airline for the concerts. Don't have to worry about parking or anything. The boys are very big fans of the dark. They actually go to Plano to visit their grandparents, and on Saturdays, that's what they do, is they ride the dart train. So they're excited about having a dart train here in our own backyard. In fact, seven-year-old Lorenzo has already learned a lot about light rail. It goes by electricity and motor power energy. We rode with them to the next stop. Irving Convention Center Station. For now, the last stop on the Orange Line is here, near the Irving Convention Center. But even as the celebration continues, work is already well underway on the second phase. Not only on the second phase that gets us to uh, Beltline Station in December, uh, but already some very early work on the, uh, the final section, which takes us into Terminal A in 2014. So we're not done. Uh, far from it. It's visible to every passenger. The construction of the Dart Orange Line is already triggering development in the Urban Center. And completing that connection at DFW Airport is expected to fuel even more economic activity. That's the main driver of getting the DART line here. We have heard from our businesses that they want to have a convenient way for their employees to be able to get to work. We've heard from our residents that they want to be able to have a convenient way of getting around the Metroplex. We had a vote. Our citizens told us loud and clear that they wanted to have access to light rail and we've provided it. I know the community is ready for this. They've been invested in it for quite some time. Uh, with interest, we've paid over a billion dollars into the system, an additional $100 million of, of capital improvement projects. We've had a great partnership over the years with Irving, and today really does start a new chapter in that transportation book for Irving. The opportunities are just huge and the development for business and the growth of a business. There are a lot of possibilities uh, for transit-oriented development that we've been waiting for for many years. Uh, we have the infrastructure uh, built today. This orange line uh, will certainly be the jump start even further to make sure that we were able to recruit businesses right around the orange line for, for more and more development. Irving residents we talked to see that potential for growth. When we moved, Irving was only a town of about um, was it 70,000, I think? Yeah. Year 14, we'll be really in the big town when you get out to the airport. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be great? It's going to be good for me. I live here in the Las Plains area, but I work near the Markenburg, and it's kind of connection with my job. We're Irving residents, and it's a great way to sort of get connected, get connected to the rest of the city, yeah. On the first day of regular service, we heard from a lot of commuters from Dallas finding the benefits. This has saved 30 minutes off my commute. I was really surprised um, how fast we got here from downtown. It was really convenient. I live in South Dallas, so I'm going to ride it from that point, from the West End all the way up here. Felicia Haynes plans to be a regular rider, so she is spending the day getting familiar with the system. Today I'm going to actually like ride the orange line from one end to another to see what it's like going across the Lake Carolyn and enjoy the scenery. 
That includes trying out this bus route 503, which connects Orange Line passengers with office buildings in Las Colinas. I'm only paying $65 a month for a monthly pass, and gas prices are very high. We could easily pay $200 a month. So while Felicia and other riders enjoy a personal economic benefit, area leaders join this celebration and look ahead to a much greater impact just down the line. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am.